Hello and welcome to JD TV with me, Jack Delaney. We are finally here at the semi-finals. This review is going to be a little bit different this week. I have chosen the three finalists that are going into the live final of the brand new series of The X Factor. Last night we said goodbye to Lauren Murray. She was one of my favourites to be honest. This year's X Factor has been incredible and I've really enjoyed it. But I still really can't pick a winner. I love Louisa and I love Che. It's definitely out of them too because yes I love Reggie and Bowley and they are entertainment but they just haven't got the voice for me so it's a two horse race now between Rita Ora or Nick Grimshaw. I said from the beginning I really thought Rita Ora's girls would win it this year because they are so strong and these three finalists have such an amazing journey throughout the competition. I wanted to review the three finalists to see who I really thought could win this show this year. Please, if you like this video, give it a massive thumbs up because it helps me a lot. And remember to follow me everything social that will be in the description box below. So here goes, and please leave your comments on who you want to be crowned this year's winner of The X Factor. First up, we've got my winner, and I really want to see her take the crown this year. It is Louisa. So young and so talented, her voice, she always looks great, she always sounds great and she puts in a great performance every week. Her journey from being so um, timid and so shy at the uh, auditions, I can always remember her audition, I remember what she was wearing and I said from the, uh, the start that this girl is really uh, strong and she could go all the way. I think this performance of this, yes I don't really know it is a classic, but um, you can tell she's got a really aura spin on this and the way she wears the hair, and I just think it works, I think throughout this competition, Rita Ora has done an amazing job for Louisa, and I've been watching Louisa's um, just followers on Twitter go up and up each week, and uh, she's really got a good fan base, so I think because of that, and because of her voice, um, I think she's going to go all the way and win it this year and I would really be happy if she won it because uh, if she's young she will get it far because she's got the looks and the voice. Simon Cow made a comment of he's going to go home and close his eyes and watch this to uh, actually take in how strong and how powerful both were. It's just incredible to be so young to get on that stage. She's just incredible and I really enjoy it. I think um, she got going from the start, but we really got to see her at uh, Big Camp. Wow, look at her vocals, so incredible. She really got going at Big Camp, and she never stopped going there. And uh, she's on the live tour, and I really think she's going to win it. So um, I'm a big Louisa fan, and I'm uh, going to vote for her in the final. So strong. And all the judges love her, they're always on that feet and um, yeah, she's just a likeable artist. Look, four judges on the feet, even signing, it's just amazing. So I'm actually the reason I'm sailing all the way through to be on live fans and this is X Factor. Incredible. Next up, a very emotional performance from Che Chester and singing an amazing Amy Winehouse song. This really got, um, people going and um, it was an amazing For performance. You, I, was I thought when you're in the semi-finals to bag your place in the final you have to pull someone out of the bag. With Chase he's had some bad um, weeks but he's always picked himself back up and uh, in the bottom two Lauren or Che, I don't know, I thought Che was going to go this week because they're the, the girls are just so powerful and I really thought it was going to be the two girls and Reggie and Bowley. But um, he's got, he's got through to the live finals and I wish him all the luck but I don't think he's going to win it. But he has really got a voice and I love his tone. And he can sing mostly anything but I love whenever you know, they smart him up and give him a great song like this. They are powerful and why not songs. That's just incredible to perform on the semi-finals of the X Factor in front of a, you know, millions. He's got to be a lot of pressure on him, but he really smashed it. Incredible performance. I love the, uh, the stage and stuff. That really worked for me. And it's 
just a strip back vocal, you know, no dancing, no real choreography. It was just good lighting and his voice, and it worked for me. So, um, I'll be interested to see what he does on the live final and how he happens out the back, but I'm sure he will. And, um, you know, even if he comes second, second out of million to apply this up. Um, Good achievement, but like I said, I really want the music to be crowned this year's winner of the X Factor. I just think she so deserves it. But um, that was Change Us for a really powerful performance, and he has got his place in the live final. So, um, well done to Che, and uh, all the best for the final, really. So, Reggie and Bodie have got the last place in the live final. Well, not that they put on a show for us this year's X Factor. They really bring the fun factor and it wouldn't be the same fun at all the people They just bring the party every week. And um, yes, yes again they've done it in their snacks, so it's fine. It's a great mashup. It just worked. It was amazing to check this out. I can see why they're in the live final. They're fun. You know? Yes, they haven't got the best voices, but uh, Wow, they give it their all and they're really great for me in the competition. So um, I thought I'd give it to them every week and I really enjoyed uh, watching them. So uh, I can see why they're in the final. Will they win it? I don't know. The crown always is about to for them, but uh, will they win it? Well, it's up to us, but uh, I don't think so. But I really think they're going to have an amazing future because of the X Factor. You know, they've got the live tour in and after that. Who knows what will happen to Reggie and Bodhi, but um, I think good things will happen to And um, who knows what uh, Cheryl and Reggie and Bodhi have got on their sleeves in their life final. Right? They really got to bring it all to show why they are deserving to win and actually be in that life final. Right? So um, I'm sure Cheryl will have to bring that sleeve. But they just bring it, here we go. I love them, the rapping, the singing, the dancing, the colours, the, the whole performance, it's just amazing. It just works every week. And they've sang a big song over the competition, One Direction, Will I Am. These are crazy um, artists, and they're just smashing it on the stage in between. And even Simon Cow dances a lot, he won't admit that, but he does. And I love them. Fast, so uh, who knows why can't they get the fuck out of it? The right boat. The right boat. That was Reggie and Bodie absolutely slam dunking the stage yet again. And uh, I wish them all the well for the life final. And who knows what will happen. But keep voting for your winner. As the semi finals out of the way, we are finally here at the live final of the X Factor. I can't wait. We said goodbye to Lauren, I really was a massive fan of Lauren and she's shown us loads of different sides of her throughout the competition and I really hope she has an amazing and successful future and I'm sure she will because her voice is so talented and she is so amazing and she's real which I love about her. But we have picked Louisa, Che and Reggie and Boley in the live final. Who will win it? Nick Grimshaw, Rita Ora or Cheryl? Who decides? Well, we do. Make sure you vote for the for the artist you want to see be crowned the winner of this year's X Factor. I can't wait for the final because I'm sure the judges and the artists have plenty up their sleeve. On another note, who enjoyed Jason Derulo and Sia? I loved them two performances. They were amazing. Actually, Saturday night I missed the X Factor because I was at the Capitol Jingle Bell Ball at... London's O2 and I actually saw Jason Rulo and he is fantastic and I might have to go and see him on his tour because he really blew up the stage and I, I loved it and a review for that concert will be on my YouTube channel real soon so please go and check that out but I caught up with the X Factor straight away and I really loved the semi-final because they are really up in it each week and we are here at the final where everyone wants to win and have that Winner single played. I have loved these videos. You know, we've had boot camp, which was amazing. Judges houses, which were incredible, and the live shows this year has really been real incredible and amazing. And some great songs and some great performances. 
And I really can't believe we're at the live final. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout the X Factor journey. I have loved making these videos and I hope you love watching them. Please, if you do, give it a massive thumbs up because it really helps me a lot. But and remember to follow me everything social. And, and please remember to subscribe for more videos like this. And you have to check out my view, review next week at the live final because who knows what will happen and who will be the X Factor winner. Who knows what will happen but I'm really excited for the live final next week. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I've been Jack Delaney. You've been watching JDTV. To you three at home, take care.